Hi guys, it's Amy here and today I bring you my June TBR. I cannot believe it's already June, that's just completely crazy to me and currently we've got rain and thunderstorms in the UK so well done summer, well done. Today I'm going to share with you the books that I hope to read in June, so let's begin. We'll start with the two graphic novels that I hope to read in June. I actually mentioned them in my recent book haul so I won't talk about them too much. The first one is French Milk by Lucy Neasley and the second one is Blankets by Craig Thompson. I'm really really looking forward to this one. Moving on we've got some poetry and this one is Today Means Our Men, poems by Sierra de Molder. This one I'm pretty sure I had in last month's TBR but I didn't get around to it because I was on holiday and I ended up just not planning things properly so hopefully I will get to this one this month. I'm really looking forward to it because I love this woman on Button Poetry. Just hearing her read her stuff is just just mind-blowing. I will link some of her videos down below if you want to go and see it but yes I really really love her stuff so hopefully this will be a winner. The non-fiction book that I hope to read in June is going to be Dispatches from Syria, The Morning They Came For Us by Janine De Giovanni. This basically is Janine Giovanni documenting the uprising in Syria and the kind of war and ISIS and everything that is going on there. I think this one is going to be a very hard, like emotionally hard book to read but also it's going to be extremely valuable and informative so I'm very much looking forward to picking this one up this month. The book that me and my best friends have picked for our book club this month is going to be The Zookeeper's Wife, A True Story of an Unlikely Heroine by Diane Ackerman. This is also now a major motion film so I imagine if we like the book we will then watch the film afterwards. This will be my World War related book of the month because apparently I can't go a month without reading something relating to World War 1 or 2. So this book is based on a true story it's set in Warsaw Zoo in Poland and it follows the two owners of Warsaw Zoo after the animals have either been stolen away or killed the owners of the zoo decide to start smuggling and hiding Jewish people in the zoo. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm really going to enjoy this book. All of the kind of World War related books I've read that center around like the resistance and people hiding Jews or smuggling Jews or just helping in any way and, and those kind of stories I've really really loved so I imagine I'm just gonna love it. We shall see what happens come the end of the month and I will definitely let you know what I think. Next we actually have a reread but I'm doing it as a buddy read with the lovely Ashley over at A Frolic Through Fiction. I will leave her channel linked somewhere and down below. She's really great and she also has a really great creative Instagram. If you guys love Instagram and you like bullet journaling and things like that you should definitely check her out. So we're gonna be reading The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I read this one a couple of years ago, three years ago, I absolutely loved it and I'm really looking forward to rereading it because I always want to reread books that I give five stars to but I never get around to it so I'm hoping that it's going to be as good as I remember it and I'm really looking forward to discussing it with Ashley and so yes I will definitely let you know what happens and hopefully oh it's gonna really gonna suck if I hate this book like I can't imagine I'll hate it but it's gonna suck if it's not as great as I remember it being I'm sure it'll be all right and also since the last time I read this book I've actually visited Barcelona and that is where this book is set so I'm gonna be really interested to see kind of my memories of Barcelona and how it plays in with the story so yes I will let you know one book that I'm actually about a third of the way through but I didn't finish it last month and that is Foxlow by Eleanor Wasserberg. I put it down after kind of starting it on holiday and I haven't picked it up since. I do want to continue reading it but I haven't got like a huge urge so maybe I'll pick it up kind of closer to the end of the month. I don't know. We'll see what happens. A classic that I hope to pick up this month is Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. From reading the back of this book it seems like a strange mashup of Rebecca and My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. I don't know how similar they are because I haven't read this one yet obviously because it's on my TBR video. But let me read you this bit on the back and tell me what you think. In this outlandish, outrageous triumph of scandal fiction, a new Lady Audley arrives at the manor, young, beautiful and very mysterious. Why does she behave so strangely? What exactly is the dark secret this seductive outsider carries with her? Ooh, it does. It sounds like Rachel and it sounds kind of like Rebecca going into Mandley. I don't know. I got that vibe. Maybe not. It might be completely different. I will have to let you know. Next is actually another reread, but I'm reading it as part of my Helen Oyemi adventure that I'm having this year and that is White is for Witching. I read this one last year, really enjoyed it. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I chose Helen Oyemi as one of the authors I wanted to read all of the works of this year. So this one is the third book I believe from her this year that I'm going to be reading. Obviously if I enjoyed it only just last year I imagine I will probably enjoy it again this year but who knows maybe I won't maybe I'll hate it we'll have to see. Next we have Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. This is one of the books that I had 
in the video right at the beginning of the year my top 10 books that I must read in 2017 because they've either been on my shelf for a very long time or I'm very excited about them. This is one of those books. It's been on my shelf literally for about four years so I hope to read it this month and we will see how it goes. I know that it's a lot of people's favourite books but I also know that it's quite a Marmite book, like a lot of people don't enjoy this book. So I am looking forward to seeing where I stand on this book, whether I really really love it or whether I want to chuck it out of my window when I'm done. We'll have to see. And the final book that I hope to read in June is actually one that I don't have on me yet and that is because I'm going to London this week to the launch of Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland aka Sprinkle of Glitter here on YouTube. I'm super excited about it guys. I have been watching Louise's videos for about like six years I think and so she was like one of the first people I ever started watching on YouTube like before booktube and all of that so I was over the moon to receive an invitation to her launch party. I'm going with my friend so at the event we will be given a copy of the book. I've actually already been sent a sample of the book. I've read this one, really really loved it so I can't wait to continue the story. I imagine me and my friend are going to be quite antisocial on the train journey home because we will be ripping through this one. I can't wait. I'm so excited guys. If you're a lover of Louise and her stuff then definitely come and follow me on Instagram because I'll probably be doing like an Instagram story of the day and the event and what happened. That's everything for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know what you're planning to read in June. Have you read any of the books that I've mentioned? As always I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything I've mentioned today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! <laughs>